What's up everybody? Tendo here, and I bought a shelf. Today is half off day at Goodwill. So everything in every Goodwill store here in town is half off. Now I don't really go to half off day at Goodwill's too often because, well, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's complete hell. You should never go there. I made the sacrifice so you don't have to. Just watch this footage and, and be amazed. But I came home with a shelf and if you've watched much of my channel at all, you know it's been a long drawn out saga to actually finish this back wall with yellow shelves. So I got a new one. It's gonna get a fresh coat of paint really soon. And uh, hopefully in the next few videos, it'll be right there behind me. But I also came home with a huge stack of games. Look at that. I found some good stuff today and I got it all really cheap. So check this out. The first stop of the day is a Goodwill that I'm still trying to get used to. It's one of the newest in town. It's also one of the fanciest in town. It's in a really high-end part of town. And that secret is out of the bag because on Half Off Saturday, the whole town of Phoenix comes to this Goodwill, as you're about to see. I never, ever have to wait in line to look at the video games, but I did today. There's just people standing around in front of it. This whole store is packed. Every single checkout line is open. It has no less than five or six people with full carts waiting to get out of this place. To be honest with you, it's been a good little while since I have shopped at Goodwill on their half-off sale day. I've kind of got a different strategy. A lot of the time, I go shopping on the day before half-off Saturday when they're restocking everything and all the stuff that's going to be there at open the next day is already on the shelves and I just go ahead and buy the best stuff at full price rather than waiting for it half price. I know that's not really quite in line with my usual MO. I like to buy the cheap video games, but just it's impossible sometimes. And I also like to go to a lot of Goodwills at once. I like to go to 10, 12 Goodwills in a row, and that's not possible on Half Off Saturday, as you'll see today. Most of these stops today, I had to wait in line, sometimes 30, 45 minutes. So it's just not conducive to my kind of shopping experience. But I'm doing it this time, for the YouTube. That's right, YouTube, this one's for you. But I'm not mad that I did it because I'm finding a lot of good stuff here already. You saw that Tom Clancy's game. You, if you've noticed, there is a Pokemon VHS down there, a couple rows down. And if you've watched many of my videos, you might have seen that I'm trying to collect all those bad boys. I didn't film it, but I did check that one, and it was one that I already have. I've also already found a GameCube game that I didn't have. That's a pretty great start for the day, I think. I'm going to leave here with a pretty big stack of games. I was almost scared to walk through the rest of this store, but like I said, I'm doing it for the YouTube. Let's check the electronics. I'm not expecting much here. If you're not at a Goodwill really early in the day on half off day, you're going to miss most of the good stuff. I, that's not really the case with video games. There are definitely people here in Phoenix doing what I do, but a lot of them seem to, to according to what knowledge I've already gathered, a lot of them seem to really just stick to their parts of town. Whereas I just wake up some days and I say, I'm driving east and I'm going to any thrift shop that I pass. That's kind of my strategy. It's not very organized, but that's what's working for me currently. Now I want you to look at this. Look at all these people. All these people with their clothes and their home good items. I waited in line here for about 30 minutes. And I was about third in line. And finally the lady checking us all out shouted, This is a cash only line. I'm sorry, but this is a cash only line. Which luckily, I actually had some cash in my pocket today. I don't normally keep cash in my pocket. I'm not a cash person whatsoever. I just keep my debit card with me, unless I'm traveling, of course, and I usually have some cash. But while at home, I don't. But I actually had some in my pocket today because I left the house today planning on going to some garage sales. Because here in Phoenix, it's about 120 degrees in the dead of summer. So garage sale season actually happens here in the winter, in spring and winter. So I kind of feel like that's here. So I thought, well, I'll go to some garage sales. And I did leave the house and I went to a couple, but they were all I could find, which means it's just a little bit early. I need to wait a little bit longer and garage sale season will be in full force. I want you guys to stop and comment below. Are the Goodwills in your area ever that busy? Because if they are, I need to come to where you're at because that means something's, something's right. <laughs> this next Goodwill is a good one. A good one, Goodwill. And I'm not really sure if I've ever been here on the channel yet. Pretty soon I feel like it's going to be really easy not to worry about that anymore. We will have hit all of them on the channel. but. Right now, it's all just kind of blurring together, and I'm not 100% sure. But this is a good Goodwill that I have bought plenty of stuff at. 
over the last couple of years since I moved here. And I'm hoping to score big on video games today. So let's go to the video game section. I had to look for it for a minute or two, but it was right down here on this bottom row. And right off the bat, there's a Grand Theft Auto San Andreas game, but I already have that bad boy. You can kind of see these games are tossed around a bit, which tells me someone's already beat me to the punch here. There's no telling what I missed, but I'm not terribly worried about that kind of thing because most of the people that I have ran into while doing this are resellers. So they're looking for the Mario carts and the big ticket items so that they can resell, which I can appreciate. But I myself am here to collect, so I'm looking for anything weird and really anything that I don't have. But I am really hoping to go home today with something that I can play and have some fun with. So while you guys are watching, if you see anything, whether I bought it or not, that I should have bought to have some fun with, let me know. Comment below. This Dark Summit game, I've played this one before. I had a good time with it, so maybe I'll buy that and try it out. Uh, what else is here? A really weird golf game or tennis game I don't know what this is strange game uh, a paintball game awesome I toy we'll take if you guys aren't familiar with Scott the Waz he's a youtuber that makes kind of historical videos or it's really hard to explain what his videos are but his newest video was on the I toy and it was hilarious so go give that guy a Google if you get the time and watch his I toy video it's about the only reason I bought this game because it was hilarious and I kind of want to actually go try the iToy for the first time. I never actually had an iToy for my PlayStation 2. I own one now, but I don't actually have iToy games, so I'm going to buy this one and try it out. Let's meander to the back of the store. Again, I'm not really getting too excited to find anything great because people wait outside these Goodwills that open, and they buy the good stuff then, which I've done. I've been a part of that crowd. It's a fun time. I've stood 30, 40 people deep outside of a Goodwill at open, on half off day it's a wild time if you've never done it go to a big city and try it out <laughs> it can be pretty wild but you got to check anyways you never know what kind of little thing might be buried somewhere it's kind of funny though uh they don't really restock at these goodwills on half off day they're really just not able to they're too busy to do it but my other favorite chain of thrift stores called savers on their half off day which they do way more often than goodwill does they do restock during their half off day. It's pretty interesting to compare the two, I think. But here is a Dreamcast controller. I almost bought it, but it's a third party and it just really didn't feel too good. So I put it back. That's probably the most interesting thing I saw on an electronics shelf today at the Goodwills on half off day. So here is what I am walking up to the counter with. And I really don't know what I'm getting into at this point because I haven't really paid attention to how long the line is. So I actually took a snapshot just to show you all these people, six, seven people deep, are standing in line waiting to check out. And I got in this checkout line because it was wrapped around the lock boxes. And I figured, well, while I stand here, I can get someone to let me look at the video games in there. There was just a bunch of DS stuff that wasn't really worth my time. There were a couple of Super Nintendo games. But I already had both of them, so I passed those up. It was both a gambling game as well as a baseball game. So here's my bag full of games. Whew, that's a big stack for one store. And I paid $1.50 for every single one of them, so that's a pretty good deal. I hope you're starting to see why I don't usually go to Goodwills on Half Off Saturday, because that's wild. And this is a line of cars wrapped around the building waiting to pick up the larger furniture that they bought inside of that Goodwill. It's pretty wild, right? Now, on to the last stop of the day. I can say without a doubt that this is a Goodwill that I haven't been to on the channel yet because I haven't been here in ages. I almost forgot about this Goodwill. Matter of fact, I went looking for it once because I had such great memories of it and couldn't find it. So I thought maybe they'd moved it or shut it down, which kind of happens sometimes with the Goodwills here. Sometimes you'll be driving down the road and think, oh, that Goodwill's right here. But then you'll look left and it's on the other side of the street because they just, they just moved. It just It happens a lot. But by the time I got to this last Goodwill, things were pretty well picked over. But I was able to find a couple things, including this PlayStation 1 game, which whew, I, I just pound my fist in the air every time I find a PlayStation 1 game at a Goodwill. It's my favorite thing to find. And this one's a jet ski game, so I'll definitely try this one out and see if it's any good. But otherwise, there was just a lot of rando stuff here that I already have, except for this Greatest Hits copy of SSX 
which the more astute observers among you might have noticed I already bought a copy of today, but this one is a Greatest Hits edition. So I'm going to buy this game twice today. That's right. The same game twice in one day. That's what we're doing here on the channel now. We're buying doubles. While searching around the back of the store, I found a couple of shelves that I was interested in, but this one was actually a little bit too short to stand next to the rest of the shelves I have. But right here, this is a regular old Ikea Billy bookcase which is awesome because that's what I have in my game room, which means this one is the perfect size to set and match the ones that I already have. It's got a $24 sticker on it, so I'm going to get that bad boy half off for 11 No, math. Math is hard. That would be $12, you forehead. All right, guys, we are back in the game room, and have you ever seen so many people thrifting in all your life? I certainly have never seen anything like that until I moved here to Phoenix. People here in Phoenix take their thrifting very seriously, so I guess your boy Tindo is in the right place. But let's jump into everything I got. Like I've already told you, I got a shelf and I bought a lot of video games. I haven't counted them yet. Should we count them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 25 video games in one day. And they were all... Almost exactly $1.50. This one was cheaper. Yeah, $1.50, $1.50. Pretty much what happened today was I went to two Goodwills and bought up a bunch of $2.99 games. Half off, $1.50. And then the next two Goodwills I went to, I didn't even put on camera because every video game in them was like $10. I don't know, I don't know what it was. I'm never going there again. And then finally, the last two that I went to today, they had games back down to $2.99, except this one. I got a PlayStation 1 game for $1.99, which was probably one of the finds of the day. I love finding PlayStation 1 games at the thrift. This is SNO Cross Championship Racing. I guess those are uh, snowmobiles. Cool. I don't have any snowmobile games, so that's pretty cool. Uh, another awesome one, Aragon for the PSP. With manual, very nice. Though the plastic inside the case is broken, but... I'm not that mad about it. Very happy to also find PSP games at the thrift. Next is one of the best games you'll ever play, iCarly 2 for the Wii. You know, go for that complete Wii collection, you gotta buy it. I mean, I don't know, maybe it's good. Maybe we'll play this on our bad video game series and try to find out if it's actually good. There's, here's another banger. Is it a banger? Sing it, pop hits. Next up, actually I should probably show this with the other one. It's kind of crazy this happened in the same day. I bought not one, but two copies of SSX for the PlayStation 2. One is the greatest hits, the other is not. And uh, yeah, I don't, that actually hasn't happened on the channel yet that I know of, buying the same game in the same day, just one greatest hits. I've made no secret that I'm trying to collect the entire PlayStation 2 catalog. I'm very passionate about it and uh, I've already had some doubters that don't think I can do it and I, I'm definitely gonna do it. I don't know how long it'll take, but I'm trying to get the bulk of it. Just flat out get it out of the way. I mean, there are probably 10 or 15 PlayStation 2 games here today and uh, I just shot a couple more episodes that you'll see in the next few days and I, one, one of the days I bought just as many PlayStation 2 games. So we're just knocking them out. We are knocking out the PlayStation 2 games. We're gonna get the easy stuff out of the way. And then maybe a little bit later on in this channel's life, we'll pay more attention to, you know, buying the expensive stuff, which I don't want to do. I'm going to try to do most of the expensive PlayStation 2 stuff by trading in GameCubes and other consoles that I find at the thrift. So that's what you've got to look forward to, but let's move on. Two copies of SSX. I love this game. Did you ever play this? Comment below. Next up, Medal of Honor. European Assault. I've yet to Google how many Medal of Honor games there are, but I've already got so many. There's a ton of them. Next up, iToy Play. Nice. All there, complete. I've found it before without its manual. It's got a rather sizable manual in it, but that's out of the way. And this was really interesting. Greg Hastings Tournament Paintball. Max D. A paintball video game. I'm not going to lie, that kind of sounds awesome. Uh, what does that say? U.S. Open Smart Court Tennis Pro Tournament. There's a lot going on there. That's probably the most confusing case I've ever seen on a PlayStation 2 game. Next up, a Greatest Hits edition of Ace Combat. I bought the regular one of these the other day. So, we got the player's choice of that one out of the way. I'm just about close enough to fill up a whole shelf 
PlayStation 2 games with Greatest Hits editions. Very nice. Next, Hot Shot Golf. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous. That looks good. Here's one I was very happy to find. Always happy to find GameCube games at the thrift, especially if they're ones I don't have. Flushed away. Like, for some reason, I find a copy of Incredibles for the GameCube every day of the week. It's always at the thrift. But there's one I don't have, so bonus. Next up, sports title, Madden 2003. These always trip me up because I've got to stop in the thrift store and check my checklist where I keep up with all my video games. See if I have some of these Maddens. Because I've got like Madden 2003, 2005, 6, 7, 9, 12. They just go on and on. And then you consider that they're all on each system. I'm going to have one whole corner of my game room one of these days. It's just sports titles. A whole corner of my game room is going to be sports titles. It's kind of a nightmare and kind of exciting. I don't know. I'm right in between. Dark Summit. Another great snowboarding game. I recall playing this when I was very young. I thought for a second maybe the manual wasn't in this one, but it is. Very happy to have that one. Burnout 3 takedown for the Xbox. I've not played a ton of these Burnout games. I definitely played one of them probably on Xbox when I was younger. Uh, more sports. Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003. And ESPN Winter X Games Snowboarding. I've got a different edition of this one. I've got something very similar to this, but it's like the 2003 one. I think this is the first one. Very nice. This was awesome. I was very excited about this. It's an Xbox Platinum Hits, but it's the whole Tom Clancy, I guess, original trilogy? I don't know. I don't know much about the Tom Clancy games. But there's three games in here, including Ghost Recon, Splinter Cell, and Rainbow Six, which is pretty awesome. That's a, that's a whole lot of video game there in one case. Next up... More bangers. Boogie Superstar. Were any acoustic instruments used? If so, it is not a banger. Fight Me. Uh, Dance Dance Revolution. I have to look these up on my spreadsheet too because they all have like a very similar case and artwork and then just different title and sometimes different color. But there's so many of those Dance Dance Revolution games. I've been getting a lot of them out of the way though. Uh, this one. Fusion Frenzy. Please comment below if you know anything about this game. I I don't often buy games without the manuals because, again, I'm, I'm just as much into collecting as I am playing some of these games. But I was like, what is this? I have to buy it. This is, this is wild looking. I mean, what's going on here? What kind of party is this? If you know anything about this game, comment below. I'm probably going to have to put this in this week just to see what it's all about. Uh, let's see. We're down to three. They're all bangers. I once accidentally downloaded a Lumineer song. I had to throw away my whole computer just to be safe. Eminem's <laughs> Kart Racing. I passed this up the other day in a different episode, and someone's like, uh, maybe you should have bought that. Give it a try. It's a bit goofy. It's a bit bad, but it's a little fun. So there it is. Eminem's Kart Racing. Uh, I think I passed up the last one because it didn't have its manual. Your boy got his manual this time. Your boy loves his manuals. Uh, this is cool. A couple episodes I got a game called Game Party 2, which I assume usually that that means that there's a Game Party 1, but we live in a weird world and sometimes it doesn't actually mean that, but this time it did. There's Game Party 1. And then Trans World Surf for the original Xbox. I did not ever play this one growing up, but I'm not going to lie. Like, that looks pretty dope. Some of the artwork on the back is a dude actually surfing underneath the wave. I'll probably have to drop that one in and give it a try. But I want you to look at this ridiculousness right here. <laughs> That's a lot of video games. And, uh, yeah, look. They've already got a place. Of course, they're all going to fall over. There you go. It's exactly half a shelf. <laughs> that... It doesn't seem like that's that many games, but one day of shopping is half a shelf, and I'm doing almost one episode per day is really what's happening here on my YouTube channel. So that would really explain quite quickly how I filled that first shelf up. Double. Almost all the shelves are doubled up. Whoo! We got a lot of video games. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thanks for going to the thrift shop with me. Listen, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to follow me on Twitch because... Look, this is, this is what's going to happen on Twitch, okay? If you follow, this is what you get.
I have to go to Twitch, then I have to stream this. Okay, it could have been better. I could have picked iCarly, but that's, that's the idea. We're just gonna play random stuff. We are thrifting random video games, and over on Twitch, we're gonna play random video games. So go follow if you want some of that awesome action. Also guys, here on YouTube, please, before you go, if you haven't already done the following, please be sure to like, be sure to comment below, and please subscribe. We just passed 500 subs just yesterday. 500, we're at like 510 right now as I record this. So subscribe, be 511, okay? And also, all of you, every single one of you watching, after you're subscribed, hit that bell notification so that when I post videos like this in the future, You'll get a notification, and you can come and hang out with me then. And until then, guys, peace out.